Space Station, a variety of crew members uh, are working uh, to complete uh, the final stowage of items inside the Dragon Endeavor. This has been ongoing for the past several hours. We will be ready when you are for closing the Dragon Hatch. All right, we copy that. Zena, waiting on 3.6 Bravo. The decimal six Bravo is now complete. So we are closing the Dragon Hat for the detail. SpaceX copies. SpaceX Dragon hatch is closed with the hatch indicator on the red. SpaceX copies hatch closed and the indicator is verified. And Zena Cardman confirming that Dragon's hatch is closed at 2.29 p.m. Central Time, 3.29 p.m. Eastern Time. It's Dragon Big Boost, TPRB, ISO valve in location one is verified open. Dragon interior is secure, waiting for your go to procedures. SpaceX copies all Zena uh, and report for PPRV. Good news, your go to step into procedures per the event details. We'll look for completing 4.010 for suit donning and report when complete. In this view inside Dragon Endeavor in the foreground is Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platonov wrapping up his first flight into space. Across uh, the spectrum of this view uh, is uh, the pilot of Endeavor, Mike Fink of NASA. To his left, Zena Cardman, the commander of the vehicle. And just out of the field of view is Kimia Yui of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. The four crew members uh, soon to begin the journey from the station back to Earth, about a 10 and a half hour journey that will result in a splashdown off the coast of California in the early morning hours on Thursday. The updated undocking time is now uh, scheduled at uh, 4.20 p.m. Central, 5.20 p.m. Eastern Time, leading to a splashdown early Thursday morning off the coast of California at 2.41 a.m. Central. This view uh, of Endeavor at the uh, zenith or space-facing port of the Harmony module, uh, what Ronnie mentioned, uh, the uh, CRS-33 cargo craft, uh, that is docked to the forward port of the Harmony module. The uh, second set of hooks now beginning to open. We are committed to an undocking, standing by for those hooks to fully uh, retract. About 20 seconds away from physical separation. Undocking confirmed. Endeavor begins its journey home with the Crew 11 crew. Undocking Dragon confirmed. SpaceX separation confirmed. Separation confirmed. A good undocking burn, 4.20 p.m. Central Time, 5.20 p.m. Eastern Time for undocking as uh, Dragon and the International Space Station flew 260 statute miles south of Australia. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Depart, burn zero, complete. So we've had three good departure burns. The departure, the undocking burns one and two, departure burn zero. About a 10 and a half hour journey to a splashdown off the coast of San Diego in the wee hours Thursday morning. At the voice of Chris Williams of NASA on board the station as we look inside Dragon over the shoulders of Zena Cardman and Mike Fink. Dragon to uh, exit the approach ellipsoid and for uh, joint operations to conclude between Houston and Hawthorne in the neighborhood of about uh, 4.40 p.m. Central, 5.40 p.m. Eastern Time.
Once again, uh, the view uh, over the shoulders of Zena Cardman and Mike Fink, Endeavour's commander and pilot, uh, the two NASA astronauts, amongst the four Crew-11 crew members. Even though all of this is taking place very methodically and very slowly, both of these vehicles are traveling about 17,000 miles an hour. So this is a very carefully... Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn one complete and nominal. Dragon end station, this is Houston on the big loop. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Endeavor crew, enjoy the ride home. Endeavor crew copies on the big loop. Thank you.